installing a system board. Remove the putty pad from the VR conduction plate and then clean off any residual material with an alcohol cleaning pad. Paste the new VR putty pad onto the bottom side of the VR conduction plate. Holding the front guide pin on the system board, align the connectors with the corresponding holes on the front of the node and slide the system board forward into the chassis. Identify the shielding cables. Install shielding cables 1, 2 and 3. Keep the front marking on the VR conduction plate pointing toward the front of the tray. Place the VR conduction plate on top of the two cable ring terminals and slightly press down the VR conduction plate. While pressing down the VR conduction plate, place the screws into the screw holes on the VR conduction plate. Fasten the two screws to secure the cables to the system board. Do not fasten the screws until both screws are placed into the VR conduction plate. Locate the screw hole for cable 4 and then align shielding cable 4 with the screw holes on the system board. Make sure the ring terminal of the cable is placed at an angle and fasten the screw to secure the shielding cable to the system board. From the inside of the shielding cages, hold the tab and peel off the adhesive tapes. Complete this step for all four shielding cages. Cover the inductors on the system board with the shielding cages. Before covering the inductors with shielding cages, make sure the front marking on the shielding cage is pointing toward the front of the tray. Attach the inside of the shielding cage to the inductor attaching point. The inductor attaching point is where the inside of the cage and the inductors attach to each other seamlessly without any gaps. Keep the shielding cage attached to the inductor attaching point and make sure the inductors are completely covered and then lower the cage onto the system board. Gently press the top of the shielding cage to secure the shielding cage to the inductor. Route shielding cable 1 between the CPU 1 socket and the DIMM slots. Make sure all shielding cables are clear of the CPU sockets, DIMM slots and other system board connectors. Roll the labels all the way around the cables to prevent the labels from interfering with the system connectors and water loop. This step can be skipped if you have a new version of the shielding cables. Fasten the seven M3 screws on each node on the system board. Fasten the two KVM screws to the front of the node. Install the tray cover. 